Hi, welcome to Expertise Academy. This is Giri Lecture on Physics. Now, we will discuss about the introduction for electric current, definition of electric current, and drift velocity. And drift velocity and also conventional current. So, what are the topics in this video we are discussing? Introduction of electric current, definition of electric current, conventional current, and drift velocity. See here, interaction for the current electricity. The motion of charges constitutes electric current. Motion of charges. Charges may be, we know that different types of charges. Positive and negative charges. Okay. The motion of charges constitutes electric current in single form. Current electricity is the steady of flow of electric charges. This concept must be steady for flow of charges. It holds its origin to Alexander Voltan. Here, 1745 to 1827. So, this is the lifespan for the scientist who invented the electric battery, which produced the first steady flow of electric current. The first steady flow. Modern world depends heavily on this use of electricity. So, this is real fact. Present is the people mainly depends on the electricity. It is used to operate machines, communication systems, electronic devices, home operations, etc. So this is the small interaction. Who invented the electric current? Simply Alessandro Volta. Sandro Volta. So let's go for the definition for electric current. See if a net charge Q net charge Q passes through any cross section of a conductor in time T. The charge passes through any cross section of the conductor in time T. Then the current is defined as the symbol of the electric current is I that is equal to charge divided by time. Charge divided by time. The SI unit of this current is ampere. SI unit of this current is ampere. Another SI unit is Coulomb per second. Coulomb is the SI unit per charge. Second is the SI unit per time. So that's why SI units per current is ampere or Coulomb per second. So this is the definition for electric current. Next, conventional current. Look at this simple circuit. This is the battery. Plus terminal of the battery, minus terminal of the battery. This is the direction of current. This is the ball flow of electrons. Why this negative terminal of the battery releases negative charges? Negative charges means electrons. Okay. See this one. In an electric circuit, arrowheads are used to indicate the direction of flow of current. Arrowheads use it to indicate flow of the current. By convention, this flow in the circuit should be from positive terminal of the battery to negative terminal. Positive terminal of the battery to negative terminal. This current is called conventional current or simply current and is in the direction in which a positive test charge is and it move. Good? Move. So what is the conventional current meaning? The current which is passing from positive terminal of the battery to negative terminal of the battery. This is called conventional current. Next, drift velocity. Next, drift velocity. 
This drifted velocity is called drifted velocity that symbol is V of D. So here V sub X D represents the drift velocity symbol. Okay. See the definition first. The drift velocity is the average velocity. The drift velocity is the average velocity acquired by the electrons inside the conductor. Acquired by the electrons inside the conductor. When it is subjected to an electric field. Drift velocity is the average velocity acquired by electrons inside the conductor when it is subjected to an electric field. When you apply the electric field to the conductor, the electrons inside the conductor acquire the velocities. Acquire the velocities. The average velocity of total number of electrons is drift velocity. Okay. The average time between two successive collisions is called the mean free time denoted by T. Electrons are moving in the conductor. In that moment, any two electrons definitely will collide. The time between two successive collisions is called mean free time that is denoted by T. The A is the acceleration experienced by the electron capital E in an electric field is given by at the electric field capital E the electron gains the acceleration is small a. So write the equation here drift velocity that is equal to we know the kinematic equation V is equal to U plus A T. Kinematic equation V is equal to U plus A T. U is the initial velocity. So here initial velocity of the electron is zero. So that's why V is equal to U plus A T. So here the base of A here we mention minus small e capital E divided by small m. This is the charge of the electron. This is the electric field. This is the mass of the electron. So we know that F is equal to M A from Newton's second law. A is equal to F divided by M. F divided by M. At the place of A, you have to write A is equal to F by M. So here F is the electric force or pulling force which is working opposite direction to the electric field. So that's why you have to keep minus F by M at the place of A here. But at the place of F, you should know that F is equal to QE. At the place of Q, here we mention E. E is the electric field. Small e into capital E. This is the charge of the electron. This is the electric field, mass of the electron. So here, BD is equal to minus small e capital E divided by 1 into T. So finally, the velocity is equal to this total value. So numerically the magnitude of this drift velocity that is equal to charge into electric field divided by mass into mean time. Okay. So here VD is equal to minus E T by M into capital. So here at the place of E T divided by M, here we mention some of the symbol that is mu. This mu indicates mobility of the electron. This mu indicates mobility of the electron. So finally, we got the relation Vd, drift velocity that is equal to mobility of the electron into electric field. This negative symbol indicates opposite directions of the electric force and electric field. Okay. So this is the drift velocity. So what is the meaning of drift velocity? Average velocity acquired by electrons inside the conductor when it is subjected to an electric field. So this is the drift velocity. This is the drift velocity equation. This is the relation between mobility and drift velocity.
So thanks for watching this video. For more videos, visit www.expertizeracademy.com.